Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to uninstall Eclipse IDE from Windows operating system. So let's get started. So before I uninstall Eclipse IDE from a Windows operating system, okay, I'll show you that Eclipse IDE is already installed in my machine. And if I click on this, it will launch Eclipse ID. You see, it's already there in my machine. And uh, in a while, it was giving me the workspace option and I can launch it and Eclipse ID will open in my machine. Okay. So let the Eclipse ID open in my machine. I'll show you the process of uninstalling later. First, let me launch Eclipse ID to prove that Eclipse ID is already there in my machine. Okay. As you can see, the Eclipse ID has been launched in my machine. So I'm closing this Eclipse ID. Now I'm going to show you the process of uninstalling Eclipse ID from a Windows operating system. So it's not a direct way, guys. Okay. So as you uninstall software from your Windows operating system, the same thing doesn't work for Eclipse ID, guys. Okay. Generally, we uninstall the software from our control panel, uninstall a program option, right? So we generally search for control panel and uh, Okay, then go to uninstall a program. To find this uninstall a program, you have to select view by category here. If large icons or small icons are there, it will be difficult for, uh, to find such option. Okay, so better to choose category so that you can easily find this program sign uninstall a program. Go there and you will not be able to find Eclipse ID anywhere. I just type E here. You see nowhere Eclipse ID is available in my machine. Okay, then how can I uninstall the software? Okay, unlike other softwares, which I can go to the control panel and uninstall a program window. And from there, the listed softwares will be there. I select the software that I want to uninstall. That is a general process. But coming to Eclipse ID, it's not that way. It will not work that way, guys. Okay. So what we have to do to uninstall Eclipse ID from our machine. So we have to follow a different approach. What is that approach? So you have to go to your C drive. Okay the place where programs will be installed, right? C drive and in the C drive, now uh, you go to the users folder. Okay, you see a folder known as users. Under the users folder, you will see something known as my username folder. Go inside the username folder. Okay, this is the location. Okay, and here you will find something known as Eclipse. You see, there is a Eclipse folder. You have to delete this folder first. This Eclipse folder you have to delete first. As you can see here, there is Eclipse folder under my username folder. So first I have to delete this, okay? I deleted this. I just press delete key on my keyboard after selecting that Eclipse option. Then next thing is there is a dot Eclipse folder. Even this one also we have to delete dot Eclipse folder. Two items have been deleted. And also there is some dot P2 folder which also have some Eclipse uh, files. You can also delete that, okay? delete three folders we have deleted dot eclipse folder dot p2 folder and eclipse folder okay three things we have deleted so it's taking some time to delete this dot p2 folder let it delete 100 percent deleted guys now guys it's optional for you whether you want to delete this eclipse workspace folder or not so if you have your previous projects if you don't want to lose those previous projects or workspaces where the projects were created, Java projects or whatever the projects are created in this uh, folder, you can keep it, guys. It doesn't, uh, it's not related to the Eclipse software, guys. Okay, you are not uninstalling the software by deleting this workspace. Here, the projects which are created using the Eclipse ID are there here, guys. Okay, if you want to still keep them, you can keep them, guys. It's not compulsory to delete this Eclipse hyphen workspace folder. Remaining or Eclipse folders like dot Eclipse dot p2 and Eclipse folder you have deleted, guys. Once the deletion is done, now. This is a shortcut here. Earlier, they, when I clicked on the shortcut, uh, Eclipse ID got launched and uh, I was selecting a workspace and then clicking on the launch button and Eclipse ID got launched. Let's try this now. After deleting this folder from the username folder, let's click on this. You see, this time it's saying problem with the shortcut. The item Eclipse.exe that this shortcut refers to has been changed or moved. So this shortcut will no longer work. Do you want to delete this shortcut? Yes. You see, there is no need. So it got uninstalled, guys. Okay. And also, if you search in search here in uh, uh, like this, you see, uh, you, you got one option here, guys. Okay. You got one option here, Eclipse ID. So right click here, 
and say open file location. Okay, so if you see there is a, this particular file, you can delete this file also and go to the programs and delete this Eclipse folder from here. So it will be completely deleted from start menu also you are deleting. So if you are deleting from start menu, it's neither available in your machine or nor available in your start menu also. Okay. You see now if you say Eclipse, you see no option is coming. Okay. You will not get any option. If you get the option also, you will not be able to launch because you will say, it will say that the Eclipse.exe file is moved or changed. Okay. It's not available now. The shortcut will not work or something will come. So this is a process of uh, uninstalling Eclipse from your machine. Okay. No other way will work guys. Okay. So either you will see some uninstall option or whatever it is not going to work. Okay. If you go to control panel, you will not see Eclipse ID from the shortcut menu. If you right click on the Eclipse and see uninstall option that also will not actually uninstall the Eclipse ID guys. Okay. Don't ever try to uninstall by using that option and think that my Eclipse ID got uninstalled. Okay. That uninstall option, which you get by right clicking on the Eclipse suggestion from this search also will not work. Okay. So only way to do is go to your username folder and delete the Eclipse folders dot Eclipse Eclipse and dot P2 folders you delete. Optionally, you can keep or delete this Eclipse workspace. Okay. This is not compulsory. If you want your projects to be there in your machine, you don't have to delete them. Okay. It's just the projects. Okay. It's not Eclipse software. This is how guys we have to uninstall Eclipse ID on or from Windows operating system. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.